The Holy Spirit has compelled me to speak about the Hebraic Roots movement. In uh, the scriptures in Daniel, Daniel writes that in the end times, which we are living in today, information will be increased. People will go to and fro and knowledge will be increased. This knowledge speaks regarding science, nuclear warfare, uh, Babylonian infrastructure, uh, 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 medicine, uh, and all these things that we're experiencing today, television, computers, electronics. This also, what Daniel wrote, reflects and, and uh, prophesies about the increase in the knowledge of God. Now, God is closing the end times, and the Hebraic Roots movement is a, is a sign and a symbol of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now, the Hebraic Roots movement is good and bad. Uh, the, the good thing about the Hebraic Roots movement is that the information is increased, the, um, the knowledge is here with us on the earth, there is no doubt and no question that uh, Jesus, as he said in, in John, he said, when, this, when I am lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. And he has drawn, he has drawn the Jews, the Judaic Jews, he's drawn the Roman Catholics, he's drawn, drawn the Christians, of course, he's drawn the Muslims, and he has also drawn the occult. And the name of Jesus Christ is spread out throughout the entire world. And he is the one who the Holy Roman Empire is blaspheming. He is the one who is being put with just other gods as just a regular God, a regular person, a regular person who is on the earth. His deity has been, has been taken away from him. And uh, in order to separate the children and keep the children in the stupor. The Hebraic Roots movement is uh, Judaic Jews, physical first covenant Israel, uh, attempting to circumcise, uh, to uncircumcise those who are circumcised in the spiritual covenant in order to bring them into following the Torah. Now there is a great dispute going on today and the Holy Spirit has put it in my heart to bring light onto exactly what is happening. The Hebraic Roots movement is, is good and bad. Uh, it has some good things to it, whereas uh, it has now revealed to us that the Hebraic scrolls, that, that Matthew was originally written in Hebrew, and the Holy Spirit has also revealed that uh, to me also that Paul himself spoke in Hebrew in Acts, and he, he said that he was the Hebrew of all Hebrews also, where he was um, uh, from the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul grew up in the Pharis in, as a Pharisee, and he was a very, very sharp-minded, extremely intelligent man. And he spoke in Hebrew. He was raised up as a Pharisee, and he spoke the language in Hebrew. And so when he wrote, the Holy Spirit reveals as he also must have wrote in Hebrew. Now, the scrolls have been found, and they're, they're being called Hebrew Matthew. Matthew has, the scrolls have finally been coming out uh, in this end time. And th these scrolls were hidden for, for centuries. Matthew, okay, here, th this here is the Hebraic Roots Bible. And the Hebraic Roots Bible is one of the Bibles that, have, that has come out uh, here recently in this end time and is, has been uh, advertised as a, uh, as a literal interpretation and from the, from the uh, old, uh, from the ancient Hebrew which the, uh, where the texts were written in and also claims that uh, they, they've also taken from the Peshitta, which is, was the Aramaic. And the way this happened was what the, the Hebrew scrolls were translated in Aramaic, Aramaic which is today called the Peshitta, um, translated into English in, from, in the East. And from, from Aramaic, then translated into Greek. And this is kind of like what they think. And this is very, it's accurate. Uh, however, the Greek may have been translated also from the ancient Hebrew as well.
It might have gone from the Hebrews to the Greeks. Now, the Bible speaks about the Grecian Hebrews, where Paul went and spoke to uh, in Greece. And there was many converted as well, not only those that wanted to persecute them and kill them, but there was also many who were converted at that time. And very possibly these ones also writ, wrote from the Hebrew into the Greek. And then the Greek was translated into English, where we have the name Lesus, which is translated from, from Yahweh, or not Yahweh, from Yeshua uh, to Lesus, and from Lesus to Jesus, which is correct. Now, the Holy Spirit revealed exactly what he is doing. The movement, this is the, the movement of God. Uh, this is called the Hebraic Roots Movement, but in, in actuality, this is the movement of God, the plan of God, from, from the very beginning. He planned this from the very beginning. This is planned from God to come out now at the end time, from the very beginning. The Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, is doing amazing, amazing feats for us, things that we don't even comprehend. One of the examples of Hebraic, of the Hebrew Matthew, is found in Matthew 5.34. Matthew 5.34. But the first, the greatest example would be in Matthew 23 first. Matthew 23, verse 1. Then Yahshua, Yahshua spoke to the crowd and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have sat down on Moses' seat. Okay, verse 1 and 2. Now, verse 3. Then all things, whatever he, Moses, tells you, in brackets, keep them and do, but do not do according to their works, for they talk and do not do. Now, all the Bibles that were translated in Greek say that all the things, whatever they tell you, then do and observe, but don't do as they do. You see? So, this is correct. Where this says all the things or whatever Moses tells you to do, you do, but don't do as the Pharisees do. Don't do as the descendants do, for they have transgressed the law and have come and have, um, have uh, rejected, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the statutes in order to keep their own commandments, to keep their own ways. Now, what the Holy Spirit reveals is that the, the Greeks, okay, which are the Christians, they follow this without knowing, without this having to be put in there. Because in the Greek, the Greeks it means the Christian, means the spiritual covenant holders of Jesus Christ. Not necessarily Christians, but the Christ believers where the Holy Spirit dwells inside the hearts of people. So what, what Jesus did is he kept, he, he, he intentionally put the, put the script in Greek in order for the readers to have, to seek him spiritually and to, to have that faith. See, we already know not to do as they do. We already know that if the pastor or the Pharisees, they, 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 they rape children, or if they, they, uh, they're on drunken stupors, or if they take drugs, or if they beat their wives, whatever they do, we know not to do that. The Holy Spirit tells us that's wrong not to do it. And where the Scripture says, do what they tell you to do, is Jesus Christ keeping the children in the physical ministry, in the fivefold ministry, in, in order to close the age, to keep them gathered, to keep them together, in order to, uh, to have some dominance on the earth, and to stress the importance of gathering and to keep them the way they are in this last, last age, also as a test for all those who are able to come out of this, out of this system as well, to check and probe all the hearts.